Welcome to Radio Fixer's channel. Subscribe for upcoming videos. And this is another John's radio that his daughter brought over so I can check it out to see if it's repairable or not. And this is the brand called Monitor. It has some wood damage, of course, as you see, it's going all around. Because right now that's not my concern. My concern is more really try to find what's wrong with this. This of course is a tabletop radio as we see. So this is the back of the radio. It has four screws. I'm going to remove those. Of course there is three screw in the bottom. Something is loose inside. This three screw is going to come out. It's a model TC36M. You see when they put this on they glued it over it and then the stain as you can see <laughs> that's the way manufacturer did has a tube layout which is a good thing it is made in the united states it's a printed in the united states i guess it made in the united states too but i'm not sure so why they stain over this tube that doesn't make any sense maybe that's the glue they use in the top but anyway we're going to find that out as well all right so let's take it apart but definitely you see the wood is missing i need to find a way to fix this somehow i need to fix this for her just want to show you i take it out of the cabinet hopefully i can remove those stain we will see i will do my best it has some type of clear code it should be lacquer like clear code the antenna in the back of course all right let me start taking it apart let me start with removing the knobs i'm checking to see if there is any screw sometimes they put a screw here you have to unscrew it no there is no screw so it should just pull out like this just be gentle with them okay of course you need a lot of cleaning as you can tell okay it's coming out we just pull it straight out need to be again washed and polished yeah they leave some deposit on this then the plastic is getting old that's what's going on as i mentioned there's four screws here that they need to come out i don't know why they put a sideway instead of a straight doesn't make any sense to see how it is it's sideway that's weird okay you see they put a wood here for a spacer but before i unsolder them i want to take a picture to remember each wire where they go the wires they are not in good condition at all falling apart as you see it was not a good wire it's like a filco filco used to do that as well some radios they have clip you know you just take the clip off but this is been soldered you know since this wire is going to be replaced anyhow so i'm just going to cut it then later on again i remember the colors just a little bit leave it like that and see how it crumbled the wires it has the tubes like a felco as well believe it or not i want to show you okay this is removed you see how the wire is coming apart that's dangerous i promise you on the chassis they use the same type of wires see what i was trying to do move this up a little bit take the wires out they have some cut here so this is out that's antenna of course like that it's the same type that philco used has a crosley tubes on them they're all crosley that's weird of course we have a spider did the spider in there as you see right there and i saw in this radio is <laughs> dead rats you know roaches and now this is my first time i see a dead spider is it dead yep it's totally dead and also it has some spider web in there need a lot of cleaning what these green things are here I have no clue like here too see that i'm so glad i take it apart all this needs to be clean now i'm going to take the chassis out by removing those three screws in the bottom. And what else am I going to find in this radio? <clears throat> this is the last screw. Alright. Yes, I'm going to pull it out this way. 
I see these green things. Might be the wires. Man, inside the cabinet is dirty. See inside the cabinet. Need to take this outside and do a total cleaning. All right, took this out and clean it with a brush. Now at least it looks much better. All the dust is out, or majority of them. In the bottom, there's a metal. The way you take this out, I saw there's two plugs here. See this right here? Let's take this out. If I go between here, it's going to pop out the edges here. See that? Okay. Pretty interesting the way they did this. Should have more than just one, right? Yeah, one here too. So I'm going to go between these two metal. Press it up like that. See, that's going to release it much easier. Seems like it had one here, but it's missing. So it had three of them. Okay, let's take this out. This is weird. So the cover is out, of course. Like inside, everything is original. Seems like everything original. See the capacitors are leaking those wax out. Believe it or not, you know, the owner told me the radio works. I came here, I hooked it up to a light bulb tester and also Variac gradually increased the electricity and the thing was singing very well. Even with the capacitor being that condition, it still was working pretty well. Some of this old radio, they're amazing. It worked after all these years. All right, just want to show you underneath, like how it is here. See that? I'm going to take a few pictures of this before I start taking it. the capacitors out. This seems was replaced. You see the solders are new solder. It's not a manufacturer solder. These are manufacturers. See the difference? What the heck is that? Here. See that is like a wire. This is what I was trying to show you. Take a picture. See this wire? Never saw something like that. It's like it's some type of resistor. Because you see soldered here. And it burned out. Definitely burned out. You see all black. That's, that's amazing that this radio was working with this type of condition. I have no clue what this is. Need to find a schematic. Look through the schematic to see what this is. One other thing I want to show you here. See all the wax came out of the capacitor. Sometimes there's a two reason this happens. Sometimes the capacitors, they get so hot or this radio was somewhere, uh, you know, the temperature was hot and this thing started melting. But again, it's crazy how this thing was working with this condition. That's why I like the old radios, you know, they used to build them, it work no matter what. These days, if something is like this, it's not going to work. They used to make them with a great quality. That's why I really like them. You see how nice it is inside. I need to check all these wires to see if they're okay or not. Yeah, this is fine. This is just went bad. See, this is bad, but these are fine. Because I think these are the newer. I hope I don't need to replace all these wires. Because the old... Like this one, you see? I hope I don't need to. I don't know yet until I start getting into it more. You know, since this radio is like a Philco, you know, in 1940s, I believe, when they made these radios, the insulation for wires, you know, it wasn't good plastic. You see how it fall apart. And I share with you where they start falling apart too. So I hate to do this, you know, because it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work and they're all over. There's not big enough, this chassis. It's, it's like a nightmare, this. So I need to remove this, the speaker, remove this, uh, be able to get to those wires. I don't know if all of them need to be replaced or not. I touched some of them. Some of them like this was totally dry. As soon as I touched it, stuff falling apart. Uh, folks, it's going to be a lot of work. It's going to be a lot of work. 
So let's do one thing at a time before I get overwhelmed with this thing. You know, I was not planning it, this, this much work for this radio, but sometime, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? I'll be honest with you, it takes so much time to make these videos, editing, uploading, and you know, make sure there's enough information that it actually makes sense, you know, if you want to follow. At this time, I want to take the opportunity and thanks my subscribers uh, with their uplifting comments. You always encourage me to upload more videos since this is just a hobby of mine. Again, I appreciate you. Enjoy all these videos and you all have an awesome day. Take care. If you're interested to see more videos like this, uh, feel free to subscribe to my channel and you will be notified uh, when new video being uploaded. You have a great day.